I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important question from test point of view. This question has been shared from one of our subscribers. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for posting their queries and watching my videos very carefully. Now I've clubbed three questions here. All of them have one particular concept and we call this co-function identity. Co-function identity. It really means that in any triangle, in any right triangle, so let's take a right triangle. So if we have a right triangle ABC, in that case, cos of 90 minus A is equal to sin A. So these are co-functions in any triangle where sum of A and B is 90 degrees, right? So sine of 90 minus A will be equal to cos A. Tan of 90 minus A will be equal to cot A, right? So like this, all are related, right? Secant, cosecant, all are related. So that is the relation which helps us to solve such questions. Now with that, you can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. The very first one here is sine 58 by cos 32. You see 32 is 90 minus 58, right? So, so we could write this as equal to, let's see here. So we can write this as sine of 58 degrees over cos of 90 minus 58. Do you understand? 90 minus 58 is 32, right? So in such questions, that is the identity to be used. So we have tan of 42 degrees in the numerator, cot. So we have cot of 90 minus 42 degrees. Correct? So, so that gives you 48. And since these are equal, so we get basically sine of 58 over sine of 58 degrees plus tan of 42 over tan of 42 degrees, correct? So that is clearly 1 plus 1, which is 2, right? So, so from here, we can write this actually is equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2. So that is how you could do it, right? So. So from here, we can get the result. You understand the concept. So it is basically a co-function identity which needs to be applied. Right? So you could apply this identity and take this as your test question. And obviously, the answer here we are looking for is equal to 3. Right? So 1 plus 1 plus 1. Right? They all are equal. The method is exactly similar to what I did. Perfect. Now let's look into third question, which is sine theta equals to cos theta, right? So sine theta equals to cos theta. Now this happens when theta is 45 degrees. So in this case, theta equals to 45 degrees, then sine theta equals to cos theta. You get my point, right? So uh, because in this 45 degrees triangle, let's make one. You know, 90 minus 45 is also 45, correct? So here, A is 45 degrees, then B is also 45 degrees. You know, 90 minus 45 is equal to 45. That makes sense? So in this special triangle, you know that the sides are in the ratio of 1, 1, and square root 2. Both values of sine theta and cos theta, when they are equal, they are 1 over square root 2, right? So you could also do like this. You could write this as sine theta equals to cos theta means you could write this as sine theta divided by cos theta equals to 1. And that means sine theta divided by cos theta is tan, right? So, 
So that gives you tan theta equals to 1. Correct? Tan theta equals to 1. This is possible when theta is equal to 45 degrees. Correct? You can do tan inverse and fine. Perfect. So we know theta is 45 degrees. Correct? So that is one way of doing it. Now, what do we need to find? So from the given condition, we found that theta is 45 degrees, right? So when theta is 45, what is cos theta equals to? We need to find what is tan theta plus cos square theta, right? So tan theta is 1, we know this, tan theta is 1, plus what is cos theta? Cos theta is 1 over square root 2. It is 1 over square root 2, and we need to square this, correct? That is what. So that is equal to 1 plus half, or 3 by 2. So you can answer as 3 by 2 or 1.5, as the case may be. So the answer here is either 3 by 2, or you could write 1.5. Is that OK? So that is how you should do it. So clearly from here, we know cos theta is 1 over square root 2, correct? And tan theta, we know, is 1. So that is how it should be solved. So I hope that is absolutely clear. So when you have similar questions, look for co-function identity, right? So that is very important. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.